a professional trainer on strategy, performance management, change ma management, and also leadership. Also, a widely published writer on the same areas in the Kenyan media. Most notably, I have written a monthly strategy column in a magazine titled Small and Medium Enterprise Today for five years in 2013 to 2018. And as I wrote that column, I was influenced to write two publications. The first one is titled Career Dynamics in the 21st Century with the sub team Unleashing the Human Performance Potential which was first published in 2015 and it attracted the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development and they used it for architecture of the competency-based curriculum in 2016 and also approved it for circulation in Kenyan secondary schools in the same year. And as people continued reading the book, I used to be asked where is the next series, where is the next series, and eventually I wrote the second book titled Living the Old Survival, sub theme No More Tiptoeing in Life. The second book was honored with a forward by a vice chancellor of a university and a second one by the CEO of Kenya Institute of Management. And after those two forwards, the book became quite authoritative. And it is also circulates widely in schools, just the same way as the first one. What do I discuss today? Just this week, over the weekend, in a social forum, I met one gentleman who is middle-aged, let's call him Kelonso, and he called me by name and asked me what happened, where did you disappear to? And when I asked him why, he told me that I used to be very vocal in professional forums and he has not noticed me for a long while. That is why he's concerned. And I related two incidences to Kilonso which are of interest to most people. And the first one, one Thursday in January 2016, I attended a professional forum and the speaker, let's call him Mr. Shah, had come all the way from South Africa to talk to us about personal development issues. And after he finished, I stood up to make an observation. The first one is whether he has a, public a publication which can be referred to on what he has just discussed. But he told me that he didn't have one uh, published by himself. 
but there's one that he relies on that is published by somebody else and he was having copies of the same and he was to release those copies during an empowerment session on Saturday afternoon in a hotel for those who make appearances. And so we were all invited. And in my case, I told him I would like us to compare notes and presented to him a copy of Career Dynamics in the 21st century. And I asked him to read it or to go through it so that he can give me a feedback on the same on Saturday. And if he likes it, he can pay me on that day. And come Saturday, I appeared in the empowerment session together with some other professionals. And when we met, the first thing that he did is to ask me whether I'm the one who has written the book. And I wondered why. Mr. Shah, why? Are you doubting what I have done? He said, no, no, no. It is very well written. I wanted to be sure that you are the author. And immediately, Mr. Shah paid for the book. And of course, he took it with him to South Africa when he went back home. Uh, I also reviewed another experience to Mr. Keronso, which happened in uh, about February 2017, on a Thursday again in a professional forum. And this time, uh, the presentation was still about personal development issues, and the presenter was well known because he was a newspaper columnist in one of the leading papers in Kenya and also a management consultant who was well known around the country. And during his presentation, he talked about how money uh, is supposed, the concept of money is supposed to be known by people even when they are young. They are supposed to be taken through the process of understanding about money uh, because at the end of the day, that could be the measure of success. And he gave examples of his own children one of who was already in university and by virtue of having understood the concept of money at an early age, he was already conducting his own business and enjoying life as he continued with the education. After the session was through, I stood up to make an observation and I told the presenter that I have been reading his articles very frequently. I have also written, listened to him very keenly. But there is one thing that I would have expected to hear from him on that day. Simply put, I would have expected him to, to come up with the issue of brain orientations or alignment with our brain orient orientations as a means of easily uh, achieving the desired success in life. And he was surprised by that observation. And he said, he simply said that he has never researched on the same 
so he couldn't discuss it. And the matter ended there. And some six months after, I visited a government office in community area, NHIA building, and I sought to see the human resource manager. And I was Isri Ashadin. And when I arrived in his office, he called me by name and reminded me that he knows me very well. And he was in a, in a professional forum where I challenged the speaker who was well known because of his column in the newspapers and also being a management consultant. And he immediately asked for a copy of my book, Career Dynamics in the 21st Century, which I provided. He asked for another one. So he got two and said that he's going to read them and present another one to his friend who they were with in the forum. And he also encouraged his uh, colleagues in the Human Resource Depart Department to acquire copies for themselves, which they did. Later, when I published the, next, the second book, Living Beyond Survival, I went back to the same office and the publication was easily acquired in that office a number of copies by the human resource manager, other copies by his colleagues. He also acquired some for his friends and also recommended others to his own friends who were outside the building who we later interacted with and acquired the same. What does this mean? The two the two forums where I felt like I had been, I had challenged the speakers, actually had discouraged me to attending professional forums because I felt my ideas were disrupting the speakers and also those who are had attended the forums, yet they were meant to align the, those present with the 25, or to alert them about the 21st century paradigms which we are all supposed to be aligned to, as opposed to 20th century paradigms. And that is a time that I actually became very busy with the school system because I felt it's easier to align those who are going through the empowerment process as opposed to those who are already empowered, those who are already professionals. And there could be a lot of contradictions as we continue interacting with them. So I inform Mr. Keronso that that is the reason why I do not uh, attend professional forum, forums as I, as I used to. Now, seemingly, we all need to understand how to align ourselves with the dynamics of the 21st century if we expect to achieve the desired success. And you can get more on that from the two books, Career Dynamics in the 21st Century and also Living the Old Survival. We are also ready to conduct seminars in schools, in organizations, as we continue aligning people with the 21st century paradigms. There is also possibility of getting more information through 
Facebook, through Twitter. You can also subscribe our YouTube channel and get information, new information as soon as, up, up, as, soon as it, it is uploaded. You can also get from, more from me if you contact me through 0772 51 62 10.